everyone. I am here with Stardock's newest game. This is Siege of Centauri. Uh, this is a uh, tower defense game, but uh, what makes this interesting is that it uh, exists within the Ashes of the Singularity universe, so if you're familiar with that real-time strategy game, uh, you'll find some uh, reasons why it's interesting. Outside of that, I mean, it uses the Ashes of the Singularity engine, so you've also got some really cool uh, tech stuff going on. Like when you zoom in here, like some really detailed stuff that you just would not get in any other tower defense game. So this is the first mission in the game, so it's a little bit of a tutorial and it certainly makes it easy for me to talk through. Uh, when this first launched into Early Access, there was four missions, but in this past week they've added two, um, and I'll show that off uh, later. So right now I've got two objectives, to destroy all the enemy waves and achieve victory without the colony taking damage, and that's any kind of damage. So you got to be really mindful. So the benefit of playing through the game uh, is that as your score increases, you'll unlock new units, and then those units will actually um, be helpful on replays. So I'm at a stage right now where I've got access to new units that I did not have before. But I am trying to tighten up the periphery here just to make sure that nothing gets through. And I I don't know, it's really fun. So you can you can pause time and throw down stuff and release it. You can actually also hold Alt, which kind of slows things down, highlights the enemies and highlights your stuff, and then kind of grayscales everything else, which I, th I think looks really cool. It's just a fun uh, thing to toggle. Um, I feel like there's been some talk about some changes that they're gonna do with that, so uh, we'll see how that, how that plays out. But you'll see that I've got most everything unlocked. Uh, with a few outliers of playing through these missions. Um, and it's just overall score. See, I wish I had uh, this arc projector right now. This would really be helpful here. But I'm actually going to get a scavenger module which is funny because it's like you have to spend metal to get metal which is your main currency and then you've got radioactives for this so um, I won't use it in this wave here but or maybe I will actually so I can spend radioactives and drop in uh, Milton who just completely wrecks stuff He's got his own health bar, but he's completely autonomous, so I don't have to do anything. He'll just do the right thing every time. I'm putting so much damage in this initial corridor that nothing is going to get through here. So we're coming up to the last wave here. So I'll put out my arc projector. Some more guns. Uh, these kind of darkened areas are always where the enemies are going to come from. It's not super clear when you get into multi-path levels, uh, which I'll show off once this one's done. Things 
down if it gets to there. Corrosion and electricity are very good things. Throw, this. Throw these guys out. Finish things off. And bam. Look at that. I got a tower upgrade now. Here's my score. Uh, you get to automatically place into a leaderboard based on your uh, score and performance. And I achieved the two objectives. Uh, here's the mission list. Um, so you've got, you know, four. These two were added this week. And then when you hover over the other missions that they want to do, you actually get a, a release date. So April 23rd is the next one, the 25th, the 30th, and so on and so forth. Like, they have these missions really planned out. Uh, there's these bonus mis bonus missions, which I'm not sure how they're going to relate. And then you've got this unidentified planet, which suggests that you're going to actually go elsewhere and like this isn't everything you see. So let's go ahead and skip ahead here. Now you have your two objectives and then your difficulties. I've been playing on normal. I'm not ashamed of it. Uh, but they do have five difficulties and kind of maybe some room for some more options. We'll see. Uh, but basically, if you play on easy, you get 25% less score and the enemy hit points are 30% less. If you go to hard, you start seeing like the inverse come up. But I, I got completely wrecked trying to play on anything other than challenging. So I'm, I'm still kind of learning everything. Uh, so you have these two objectives and... Uh, you know, I've got a save. I don't care about the save. Um, you've got these two objectives, but uh, like a small part of me just wishes that there was a third. Like I'm so used to the three star system that like two stars seems kind of weird to me. So you'll see that like there's like a little bit more of a path here. You've got this and then this. These are the two ways that you'll be approached from, but it's not super clear and it's definitely not clear which side these guys are coming from from the first round. Um, I've only got 100, so using uh, the 100 metal I have for an arc projector is not gonna be wise. But maybe they do come from here. It's just, it's really not clear. And as soon as you place things, then that's when you start getting uh, the enemies deployed. Nope, they're over here. See what I mean? Just ridiculous. And this is the first point uh, within the path that I can actually start shooting them. And it's really unfortunate. I am I'm not a fan of that. And I know that they're going to work on that. Hey, this is a preview. This is early access. That's just how these things go, but it's a lot of fun. I know people see tower defense and just kind of like shirk their shoulders at it, but I don't know, it's Stardock. Like you kind of know that you're getting something deeper and better here. Uh, the fact that there's gonna be so many continual updates is just, it's great. Should be enough now. Yeah, now we've got these new guys coming in. This is not my favorite. Oh yeah, and then they turn on you. It's, it's rude stuff. upgrade my fission reactor. I can actually upgrade my base. Um, I don't have enough metal to do it, but it will give it more health so it can sustain more damage. Oh 
boy. And defend it well here. Wave is coming from. Here we go. So let's zoom in on this because this is just really fun to watch. Oh, you know what? Deploy Milton, because that's objective. Watch him go to work. Look at that! Never stood a chance. Hold him off there. So you start doing damage and then they kind of like try to retreat, but then that doesn't really do anything in the sense that they get just get caught. Our Nexus is under attack. I think I thought Oh boy. I think I lost my fission reactor. I was focused on other things. We'll bring in my swarm here. Uh I think I can tell him, yeah, I can tell him where to go. I didn't forget things. Yeah, I lost my fission reactor. That's not great, but that's not a requirement of this mission to keep it, so. Uh, Milton dismantled. So I hope I've got enough firepower over here that I can do something. Throw down an amplifier to do more damage. Do it quickly. Throw down some more damage. Our nexus is taking heavy damage. I hear you. I am just as concerned as you are. Yeah, it's hurting. It's hurting. Oh boy. I lost. Whoops. Well, we got to see Milton in action, and that's the important thing. Uh, so I am briefly uh, going to go into this mission. Um, I don't want to show off too much, uh, because of how this game is evolving. But I do want to do some kind of fun stuff. Um, I, th I think there's only one point of entry. I think there are two here, but... Uh, do you see how like large this map is? Like I, I'm much more zoomed out now uh, than I previously was. Oh, I had this wrong. Yeah, that is one thing that I would really like to see changed. Because it's just not clear. So I will just position these things randomly so that some damage is happening. But you get your enemy types um, as they kind of come through the progress bar. How many Our enemies are left? Is under attack. Yeah, it's 
bad. Uh, no turn. Uh, so you've probably seen this rush wave button. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it a few times. Uh, what, what it does is it just spews out enemies, but by doing it, you actually get a bonus to your um, metal. So it's a risk or war reward kind of thing in, in that you wanna try to spit out as many units as you can. Now I'm hectically trying to place things. I am definitely going to lose. But I said I was briefly going to show off this mission. And uh, Siege of Centauri, though it's unfinished, is in a really good place right now. You're going to see it evolve. It's kind of got this like episodic thing going on because you're, you're getting new missions here and there. So I failed Our that Nexus mission. Our is taking heavy damage. Yep, yep. I mean, that's what happens. So there, there's all my risk, no reward. Um, but Siege of Centauri is awesome. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Get it now while it's in early access uh, and just kind of en enjoy the slow trickle of the new missions. And I will go ahead and put a link to the game in the description. All right, thanks for watching.